Hi, guys. Happy oh. Monday. Yes. Happy Monday. And we are MLK heating things up in the kitchen. Yes, we mm -hmm. are. Jamaican food with great jerk spices. But you're never going to guess what the main ingredient is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't even tell once it's no, all you can't. put together. What do you think that is? Should we tell them or should we wait? We should wait. We should wait. Okay, we'll make you wait. <laughs> so, also, that would be great for dinner, but the most important meal of the day, of course, is? Breakfast. A big one. Oh, <laughs> a really big one. And David Elder is going to take us to a restaurant called Center Point, and they've got a big breakfast. Plus, they've got sweets to go with it. So, oh, yeah. It's okay. Big sweets, sweets in the morning. With that big country breakfast for <laughs> big Love appetites. Good, eggs and hash browns. Oh, and yeah. A nice big sweet roll or something <laughs> like that on there. Mm, that sounds and, so good. of course, uh, we got to spread some acts of kindness this morning with some very unlikely Likely companions. Jen Tobias Trusky went around the newsroom not to hand out that, not that good stuff. Ooh, there's <laughs> a good breakfast good for you. That would, that would be a nice act of kindness to uh, give somebody a sweet like that. <laughs> and the acts of kindness were done by? Wrestlers. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. What do you have there? All right. I want you to write down something you've been happy about this year. Okay. Okay. Just write it on there. Don't let me see it. Put your name on it because I will read it later on in the show. Okay, we are showing you some really positive, inspiring crafts that you can make at home. All that and more when SA Live continues. Welcome back. One last look at the forecast. It'll be nice and warm today, relatively speaking. But tomorrow, the big change has arrived. Temperatures fall below freezing by sunrise tomorrow. That presents a huge issue when it comes to ice. Winter storm warnings in effect for San Antonio in the hill country. We're looking for the potential for some ice accumulations. Slick roadways. Be very careful tomorrow. We'll keep you posted through the day. And we have got our plan being mapped out right now. Yep. So we will have you covered digitally, online. If you lose power, um, use your... Facebook will be live streaming. Facebook. There's yes. many ways to still yeah, stay in so contact with us. All it, platforms. It could get dicey. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's all of our time for now. We're going to go to SA Live. I tell you, with those dicey conditions on mm -hmm. the horizon, you know, some positive energy would be good, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, we might know? need it. <laughs> and, and something that, that really kind of makes you, somebody said at the time, or a motto or something, that really makes you feel good, uplifting, yeah. right? Something that you see and you're like, I like that. That's my, that's my motto. Do you no, guys have one? Yeah. Yeah. We, you know, it, it, when, when uh, hinted that we were going to be talking about this, all of us had a funny one, and then we had like a real one yeah. that mm -hmm. actually gets us through. Why don't you go first? I, my, my favorite one, though, is life is 10% what happens to you, but 90% how you deal to it, deal with it or react to it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Good one. Mine is yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, that's why we call it the present. I, I love that one. Like yeah, that's a good one. Too. Yes, indeed. How about you, Tim? Good, say the first one you told us. No, I can't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we all want to know. Yeah. Well, it's an old Frank Sinatra quote, and it's, uh, I feel sorry for people who don't drink because when they wake up in the morning, that's as good as they're going to feel all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the, the other but one the other about? one I was going to really give you was from Jerry Garcia. Constantly choosing the lesser of two evils is still choosing evil. Mm. Okay. That's pretty good, too. Yeah. Very inspirational quotes. Yeah. All, right. All right. We will take it from here, and we want to know what is a motto, a quote. Maybe it's somebody famous. Maybe it was mm -hmm. a friend or a relative mm -hmm. that said this, perhaps sage advice from Grandma and Grandpa. Something what's like yours? That. I like um, where the boys, uh, their school, mm -hmm. their motto is be honest, be kind, be the best you can be. I like that. And, I, and I've, always, I've always liked that. It's just, I mean, sweet and, sweet and simple to the point. How about you? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here comes mine. All right, do we have mine? Yes, there yeah. we go. Do more of what makes you feel alive. Oh, I like that. Yes. You want to hear a really that good one? Quote? Oh, here we go. From All Angelo right. from Jamaica, Jamaica Restaurant. What? Oh, and by the way, he's cooking up something really, really tasty. We've got to talk about the food, believe it or not. But you had a wonderful quote. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, I quote it, never look down on a man unless you're reaching down to pick him up. I love that yep. one. I love that one. And on that note, yes, let's and make some Gordon. really good food. All right. <laughs> All right. What are we making today? And we are, okay, I think of Jamaican mm -hmm. jerk dishes, jerk chicken. I think spicy. Yeah, spicy, spicy. and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. we got the spice, right? We got the spice. Um, just today I want to I show you a different part of the, the Jamaican restaurant. The Ital or the vegetarian part of the restaurant, then what we're going to cook for you today is the jerk tofu, jerk stir-fried tofu with, vet, with our cabbage. Okay. Now, it's tofu, but you won't be able to really tell once it's all done, right, <laughs> that, you, it's, that, it's, you, that it's tofu. You're probably thinking you're eating meat. 
right. after you, uh, right. after you, uh, once you start eating the tofu. Okay. So we, we get start, started. We start with some olive oil, mm -hmm. some mixed vegetables, some uh, olive oil. So onions, that in there. Okay. Some mixed vegetables. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this. Mixed vegetables, some cabbage. Peas and oh, carrots. the cabbage. There mm -hmm. you go. Oh, it's smelling good. All right. And the cabbage will, like, lettuce will kind of wilt down a little bit? It will it down a little bit. Okay. When I think of, again, tofu, a lot of people might kind of go, ugh. But, again, you said it takes on it tastes, the It takes on the flavor of what you put in. So we add the tofu. Okay. And this, you said, was to it's make fried. it special. To make, already to make deep fried it. Already fried. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is going to go in there, too. And mix it with the house blend. Okay. Add on in. Sprinkle that. Oh, with the house blend. House blend, house blend and what we create is a secret blend. <laughs> Some jerk, uh, dry jerk, to dry jerk uh, seasoning. Okay, where does the term jerk come from? What's it mean? Uh, jerk is a, is, a, is a way of um, preserving the food back when we was in Jamaica. Back before, what we call it, the, before fridge and all that other stuff there. Mm -hmm. So we... we, we well, blend up the scotch bonnet and all the rest of the seasonings and onions and garlic and everything and to a paste and then preserve the food that way. So when we're ready to eat it, we could just go ahead and uh, just cook it right away. Oh, really? And just yeah. left the spices on there. But it's, but it's not just regular spices. It's, it can it's have some gonna, kick. So anywhere you go and you say you see jerk on the menu, mm -hmm. realize it's going to be spicy. <laughs> it's going to be spicy. <laughs> yes, and like you said, the name jerk comes from who's the jerk that gave me that hot spicy stuff. So. <laughs> yes, Speaking sir. of hot and spicy, you said you have a little something over there. Well, this... Uh, we, we created a, a new pepper sauce we call um, Jamaica Sweet Heat. Mm -hmm. And I want to caution you that this is very spicy. Okay. Oh. So I want you to go ahead and just don't taste, don't take a lot. Here just we take go. A you little want to try bit. this? Just a little bit on your finger. Just a little, little bit, bit on your finger. finger. Smaller, than Smaller than that. Okay. Smaller than that. Like this? Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Wow. Mm. You're going to taste, gonna taste <laughs> a little bit of sweet. And then the heat going to hit you back there. And it's coming all the way from Jamaica. I did not get us a chaser. <laughs> I didn't taste anything. I don't want to. Wow. I didn't taste anything. Woo, um, that is some heat. Oh, wow. Tell me what you taste. I want to taste it's some of those things. Yes. This Woo. is looking good. Okay, this is looking good. <laughs> I'm going to let you what, taste, what, what, taste some mango carrot juice ooh, here. Mango okay, carrot mango juice. juice. Okay, and what's the next one? And this one is some homemade ginger beer. Ginger beer to put out mm -hmm. the fire, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's really good. Oh, I'll trade you. <laughs> that's really, really nice. And you've got some other dishes right here. Uh, right? We have, what do we uh, have here? On the end over here, we have mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jamaican recipe. We got uh, kalalu and sawfish. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the, dump, the fried dumplings, a nice combination for the kalalu and sawfish. We introduce now jerk salmon salad. Some dessert, rum cake, and this is what your, your dish is going to look like after we finish here. Okay. And, and, that rum, and that rum cake is, I mean, that is. That yeah. rum cake is going to be extra special. <laughs> you said you also do Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch. We do a Sunday brunch. We, we uh, have an infusion of uh, uh, Georgia and Jamaica. So mm -hmm. we have chicken and waffles. We have uh, uh, salmon croquette with, um, with uh, grits, shrimp and grits, ackee and sawfish, kalalu and sawfish, and... Uh, and also, we, we do uh, Blue Mountain Coffee. Oh, okay. that sounds yeah. good. And you moved also. We moved from across the street from 2011 Austin Highway to 2026 Austin Highway in the parking, right in the center of the parking lot. So if you knew where it was and you go there, just turn around. Turn around and look across right, the street. It'll be right, right there. behind you. <laughs> and what do you have, an um, event you have uh, in place for Dream Week? For Dream Week, we do, we're doing... Um, we, we're going to uh, partner with the original Afro Beats, mm -hmm. and they're coming in with uh, reggae soca and uh, an African uh, infusion. Um, it's going to be a great thing. Come out and enjoy us. Enjoy the food, the drinks, and the company. All right. Mm -hmm. Great By stuff. the way, mm -hmm. former drill sergeant yes, sir. in the Army or Marines? In the Army. In the Army. Thank, thank you for your service. Yes, I hope there's none of that stuff in here. So this is great. Bite. You're almost there we ready. Go. And there there's the tofu and the cabbage with all the uh, jerk spices in there. How is it? Mm. Good? Mm hmm. Mm. For more information on Jamaica, Jamaica cuisine, go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen mm. on SA Live tab. Angelo, thank you very, very much. Appreciate that. Thank sir. you for And thank me. you for your service mm -hmm. again. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yes. You look very nice today with this sweater pink combo you've got going on. Well, you're very kind. Do you owe me money or something? <laughs> no. Oh, that's mm. very sweet of you. Oh, well.
It's true. When you, you know, one little act of kindness, how much further it can go and change an entire person's day. And our Jen Tobias Strusky went around town and to spread a little cheer with some unlikely companions. Take a look. Jen Tobias Trusky here at KSAT with some WWE superstars. I have Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews. And you guys are the definition of inspiration. Titus, you have such an inspirational story. I know you travel the country and you spread positivity to kids. Why is that so important to you? Well, people invested in me when they when I had, when they had nothing to gain in return. Uh, at a very young age for me, I was labeled a kid that would be dead or in jail by the time I was 16. And some people uh, at a place called the Florida Shares Boys Ranch saw otherwise. So I know you've won, was it Mega Dad Award, the Celebrity Dad of the Year? Yeah, yeah, Why do yeah. you think that is? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how I won it. Pops, yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just think uh, it, it is, I, I think the, the greatest honor any man could ever have is to uh, be labeled a father. So important. I mean, you guys have your fans that look up to you. Um, why do you think it's so important to spread that positivity? I think for us, we're put on a, we're, we're in a lucky we position to be put on a, a platform where we can, you know, reach out to certain people. And uh, if it wasn't for other people, like, you know, Tidy's situation, helping him, you know, he wouldn't be able to do certain things that he wants to do today. And same with me, I wouldn't be able to be here at the WWE, be a WWE superstar and spread that positivity. So um, I just, I just, it's, for me, it's, it's about being a good person. It makes, makes you feel good, you know, when you help others and uh, inspire others and motivate other people. Uh, love and, and fun is definitely the equalizer of what we do. I love that. Love and fun. Yeah. And do you guys want to go spread some kindness inside the oh, news? Absolutely. I mean, we got tacos, we got flowers. Tacos. And flowers. We got some WWE superstars handing out tacos. We're just spreading kindness today. Some of these flowers, I'm gonna save for the lovely lady. How you doing, son? How you doing? How are you? Awesome, man. It's uh, cheese and bean. All right, tacos. We're done. Well, that's good. Come on, you gotta eat. Come on, man. You like it or not? All right. Well, happy Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Josie, hey, I got a taco. Just spreading love today, guys. How are you doing? Oh, y'all yeah. definitely need to talk. Oh, man. That's Henry and Brittany. Brittany, what's up? I got a taco for you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look excited to get my taco. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, you look like you've been hitting the gym a little too much. <laughs> We'll give you some flowers, but these are for the lovely ladies around. Top is good. Bean and cheese, man. Enjoy it. Thank you. Definitely. Spreading kindness today. Spreading kindness, man. I got some flowers for you too, Diana. And can we get Diana a taco as well? Yeah. Bean and cheese. Absolutely. Ty's got a taco. How you doing? Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to So make sure you spread the same love we're giving you. You spread it to somebody else later on. All right. Just don't give them the same taco. Don't give them the same taco. Please. Nice surprise. I mean, mm -hmm. just somebody walking around the newsroom like that and just get a nice little act of kindness. It can just change someone's day, like you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for that. And Jen, of course. All right. You Ready? Know it's time for. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. time to go online and vote for this month's Go Public Cool School. This month's district features three programs from the Alamo Heights High School their theater arts program, the Spurs dance team, and the choir program. Okay, let's take a look at who is in the lead. And it looks like it is the theater mm -hmm. arts. Mm -hmm. All right, with 43% uh, of the vote right now, Spurs dance team is not far behind that, but you can go online and vote. For more information on Go Public's cool schools, visit wegopublic.com. All right, next on the show, country breakfast served up in Texas-sized proportions. David Elder takes you inside a local restaurant serving up big dishes for big appetites. And we have got a great craft that you can do. It's one of those really complicated-looking things, but, boy, Jennifer's here, and she's going to show us how easy it is.
live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio. This is SA Live. And welcome back, hey, everyone. Well, good music just kind of flowing always brings about pot. Just makes you feel good, relaxes you, and you right? just kind of kick back. And, Great way to kick yeah. off the new year, right? It is. Positive it is. thinking, positive goals, things like that. And this next performer does just that. Alora and Gasoline Alley is a local band performing all around the city. They write their own music and create soothing sounds like no other. You can catch Laura and Gasoline Alley perform live Friday, February 26th at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off event. For more information on their music, visit SALive.com. Laura and Gasoline Alley, take it away. She's got a beautiful voice. Love those <clears throat> rooftop sessions up there with the city skyline in the background. Once again, you can catch Elora and Gasoline Alley perform live Friday, February 26th at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off event. For more information on their music, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we're giving you a little inspiration and showing you how to make your very own Unity Quilt. Abby's Attic Sewing and Crafting Studio is here to show you how. Tuesday. All right, well, we're continuing to kick off the year with positivity. Lifestyle blogger Marissa Hernandez is here to inspire you with crafts that'll turn any frown upside <laughs> down. Yes, Thank you so are. much for being here today. Okay, Thank you brought you. several crafts that you yes. can make at home. Okay, definitely. Fairly inexpensively that mm -hmm. will really kind of help you and your family. Get yeah, off to the right like, positive foot. <laughs> exactly. It's like good family fun, and this one is my favorite. Okay. The so. happy jar. So this is the first time we did this this year, mm -hmm. but basically you create a jar, however you want to create it with whatever fun colors you'd like. All you need is some fun string in a jar, mm -hmm. and I used felt to kind of make a little pocket to kind of keep the notes in there, so oh. that way everything is there for whoever needs it when they want to put their 
positive, happy thought in the jar. You write it out and you collect them through all the year, and then at the end, end of, of the, the year, year, you read them all, and it's like a read really them all nice together reflection. as a family, maybe on New Year's Eve. Yeah, you know, that's and you exactly. get to remember all the things that you were so happy about. There seems to be a note in the jar. I, I think this Mike's, is the one that Mike, Mike wrote, wrote us right? a happy Let's thought. See. What did he write? Aw, my SA Live coworkers <laughs> are great. That's cute. He, <laughs> knows, how, he knows how to butter us up. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good one, Mike. <laughs> All right. So the next. <laughs> yes. We know. We know. All right. All right. The next one are the next one do it are yourself dream catchers. Dream catchers. Okay. Yeah. So basically you can find these wooden little circles at any craft store. They're like two bucks and you can basically weave around your yarn mm -hmm. um, to kind of go all the way around it. So it kind of looks like this. I see. So you would just kind of mm -hmm. start it, keep going all the way around until, until... You, you get a complete circle. Okay. And then you want to use crochet ribbon to do your weaving. Okay. And all you need is your feathers and your, and your charms. And then so we're going to do some weaving here. Okay. We're going to go under mm -hmm. and under. And you just kind of like tighten it up and move it over to the middle. And that's the same concept you use to kind of start mm -hmm. it out, right? Yep. Okay. And so, so we can do this. Okay. Now, which direction am I going? You're I'm gonna going to go underneath here. Underneath this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then under one more time. Mm, under the next one. Underneath, yeah. The next one. Yeah. Okay. And then move that over? Yes. Okay. So you want to just do that. So you can have like the, a... The knot. The, it did not, but there it Yeah, goes. there we go. There, there we go. Yeah, okay. and so you keep on doing that all the way around, basically until you get to the middle. And then mm -hmm. when you get to the middle, you want to add your little jewels. Mm -hmm. And then you tie on your, the significance of the feather is your bad dreams get caught here. Mm -hmm. They catch them. You don't have any bad dreams, and your good dreams go right through down. Right through, and, yes. and so there's just dust them right off, yes, right? Yes, for and so sure. you would just tie this to the bottom, and mm -hmm. you can do however many you want, right? Yeah, you can do however many mm -hmm. you want. You can decorate them however you want. We like to put, you know, the charms, and we do the little braid and mm -hmm. everything like that, and pick your favorite colors, and there you go. And you typically keep it above right your, your bed, bed. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. like on your headboard or even higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hanging right over you, so that way your dreams are all good and positive. <laughs> we want to keep it like that for 2018. <laughs> There is nothing like the power of seeing your goals every day, yes, right? Really yes. seeing them. Exactly. And the most important thing is you always want to make a vision board every year. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even some people make them every six months. Because if you reach your goals, you want to put brand new goals out there into the universe and, and get, it all, get it all good. So here are some ways that you can make a vision board. You can always get some fun stickers and, of course, cut out from your favorite magazines. Um, any positive sayings, positive words. Um, to kind of get you going and basically you end up with something like this so we can kind of decorate it however we want um, and make it all about you. I love this and you just kind of used um, little just kind of sticky tape that mm -hmm. have designs on it to kind of do the design around it. Exactly. Okay and so while I kind of get this going you you do a podcast right? Yes we have an empowering women podcast that I co-host with two awesome women from the San Antonio area it's called Girl Talkie Mas. <laughs> and we are on iTunes, a SoundCloud, and Stitcher, and you can listen to us. We are in episode 17, coming out this week. And it's just a really fun, positive, empowering podcast. We um, interview women and all kinds of people on their goals and, and just life and how they've gotten through positive um, experiences that they've had. And it has been such an experience. We totally love it. All right. Great stuff, Marissa. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I, love, I love what you chose there. Yeah. You know? And there you go. And when you finish it off, you got a bunch of goals on there. And there you go. All right. For all ideas and more from Mexi Moments, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up, we continue to get creative and help you be inspired. Abby's Attic is here to show you how to make a unity quilt. And earlier, we asked you what your favorite inspirational quote is. Ariel says, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Of course, Martin Luther King Jr. And welcome back, everyone. I want to give you a little inspiration and make your own unity quilt. And you've heard of the place before, Abby's Attic, and Jennifer Nicolella is here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So Thank what you. is a unity quilt? 
Well, we are trying to bring the community together for the 300th birthday of the city. Okay. And we'd like to invite the public in and help us assemble a quilt. And then once it's all together, we're going to gift it to the city and everybody gets to leave their mark on the quilt. Oh, so. fantastic. Really? Yes. So this thing could be, I mean, could well, literally cover the city almost. Well, no, we're, we're trying to keep it about queen size. But okay. Yeah, so everybody's going to be invited to come in and... Um, have a part in the in making of the quilts, and then we'll give it to the city as part of the celebration. So if you wanted to make one at home for yourself, yes. how would you begin? So there's some really amazing quilt designs out there. Um, this, this looks really complicated. It does look very complicated, but my quilt teacher, Emily, has found a very easy way to do this. Okay. We're actually holding a class on that, but for the segment, oh. we're not going to do anything quite this fancy. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Um, it's going to sound really strange, but we're going to just sew these two pieces of fabric all the way together. Okay. And I've drawn a little quarter inch seam there for you to follow. Don't, don't leave any sort of an opening or anything no, like that. Close okay. it all up. It's, it'll make sense in just a second. And then once you get to the corner, you can just flip it around. Flip the thing and mm -hmm. then go like this. Yep. And so what okay. we're doing, it sounds very counterintuitive because we're actually sewing the pieces together. There's no way to turn them. But the magic comes when we cut them apart. And so... Um, Helps when you stay on the line. <laughs> Quilters um, have found amazing ways to make their sewing quick and easy. And it, it really does look quite magical when you um, see what they're doing. But once it all comes together, it'll be, it'll be very clear. Okay. You're almost done. I'm almost done. Awesome. Okay. Go ahead and cut her loose. So I have a finished one here. Mine just happens to be um, a solid color We're on both sides. On here. Oh, it's right here. Sorry. Oh, oops, yeah. Okay. There we go. There you go. Um, so everything is all sewn together. There's no way we mm -hmm. can take it apart, but we're going to go ahead and use a rotary cutter. Now, this is a, um, a tool that quilters use to make long straight strips. We're going to use it today to, um, and I'll give you a. So <clears throat> there you go. This is better to use than scissors? Um, if you're trying to make straight straight strips, yes. Some okay. people prefer this to scissors. Um, it just depends on what you like. So just kind of like a pizza cutter. Oh, I'm going to use this for a, a guide. Yeah, you're going to use oh, it, and I you're going to cut okay. right on the diagonal. There you go. Okay. So we're going to cut this twice. All right. And this is quite sharp, so be, be careful. And the mat underneath it is a self-healing mat, which means that uh, it can it that, can take. Yeah, that it's baby real sharp. Is sharp. <laughs> hey, boy, you wouldn't have to go twice of cutting a no. pizza with this thing. Would no. You? <laughs> Oh, wow. Yep, and then you do it once again. Okay, and once right there along so this Mike's line. So Mike's going to finish okay. that one, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you've cut it open. So now you've got four pieces. They're half triangle squares. We will eventually tidy up these little corners, right. but right. we're going to press these open. Oh, well, look at that. Isn't that fun? Okay. So the iron is all hot. If you want to go ahead and press your seams open, and we'll use all four of these. So that didn't take long at all, right? And he no. has four two-color pieces to work with. So when you have a whole series of these things, you can put them together in a, very, a variety of designs. So this one was a pinwheel design. Mm -hmm. um, this one is called Love Letter, so you can kind of see the oh, yeah. um, envelope shape there. Now, this would also be something good if you wanted to do a quilt of, you know, your kid's clothing or something oh, like that. Yes. The, the little keepsake quilt. Yes. Just cut the little squares out Absolutely. and you go, oh, I remember that. I remember that. I love doing that. And one. especially if you have little tiny pieces, you know, the baby mm -hmm. quilts, I mean, the baby clothes are very small, so you can have, you know, plenty of these to work with. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our squares. Got your squares. And, and we know our pattern. We know your pattern. So go ahead and just fill in one of these based on okay. the color. Now, I've got one solid color. And even great. though these are squares you can actually make the impression of a heart. And this would be a perfect little quilt square oh, for Valentine's yeah. Day. So we'll just plug we that go. right in. And we'll go like And there we that. go. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, they tend to stay down better when you've pressed them. So yeah, there you go. So, so we would sew these together then? Yes, yeah, so you would actually just take, when, once you've got your design, you just fold one right over the other. Okay. And sew it right there where they touch. Right there on this edge. Yes, okay. and a quarter inch, and so the tape is there to kind of help. So this along. is one of those projects where it's not going to be maybe in afternoon, but it's just kind of, you know, get everything methodically and sew them together yes. and put it together. So it's just a, sort of a relaxing type it's thing, It's a labor right? of love. We always okay. say, you know, these things take time. Sewing is not hard. And I've been saying this to my classes a lot. Sewing is not hard. But there are some things that just take more time than others, and so we just have to invest the time, but I it is found, a moment. And so. I have found that using a sewing machine is kind of like using a table saw in a way, so <laughs> you just guide it right through and yeah, go from it's there. Easy. So, so like, then you would go like this and continue correct. working well, well on done. that and go on and go through and make a whole big quilt in whatever right. pattern you want, so, right. and then right. put it on some sort of a backing. Exactly. Okay. So 
Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say, <laughs> and you have classes on this at Abby's Attic. We do. We have a variety of quilt classes. We have um, sewing boot camp coming up starting the middle of February. And we, if you don't know anything about sewing, that's where we get you started on the road to making garments and quilts and blankets and bags and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay. Well, Jennifer, thank you very much. Thank if you. For more information about Abby's Attic, make sure you go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Happy New Year, my dear. Happy New Year. Thank you. with SA Live. Well, I'm up here in San Marcos, Texas, taking my foodie tour a little bit north this time to a little place called Center Point Station. There's your typical small town diner. Then there's places like Center Point Station in San Marcos, Texas. People travel from all over South Texas to try their new spins on old classics, like their monster cinnamon rolls. The dough for the rolls is made fresh every morning. After being rolled out, the dough is covered in cinnamon and sugar. It's then cut, rolled, and put into the proofer for one hour to rise. Then in the oven it goes. And what comes out is a work of art. The large rolls are covered in house-made icing, similar to donut icing, just a lot thicker. This thing is huge. This is like a bowling ball covered in icing. Solid golden crust on the outside, soft in the middle. Mm, that is fantastic. The cinnamon rolls are delicious and huge, but just one part of Center Point's sweet creations. The kitchen kicks out killer country breakfasts with cinnamon roll loaf French toast. And a classic take on chicken and waffles. It's not chicken and waffles, right? Until you put the syrup on it. That's good chicken and waffles right there. You gotta put the syrup on there. I love cinnamon and sugar on my French toast, but you don't need it here. It's baked into all of it. Looks delicious. The diner has freshly made kolaches, freshly baked bread, regular sized cinnamon rolls, and traditional country breakfast options. Check this out. You get the traditional plate. This is the American classic. You get the hash browns, bacon, sausage, eggs. You can get eggs anyway. That's good breakfast. Center Point Station has a fantastic menu and fun gifts for the whole family. And I know I'll be back soon with a look at their famous burgers and onion rings. <laughs> Keep eating San Antonio and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. Did you see what they're making that French toast out of? I oh, know. All right. Active or retired military, listen up. You can get your rent paid almost in full. Details from, a tech, from Texas VA Vet and Home Loans next. And tomorrow on SA Live, just in time for all that cold weather, we are curing your cold weather chills with a hot potato recipe that's going to warm you from the inside out. 350 Bakery will show you how to make it. That's tomorrow at 1. or veteran, there's a program that can help you and your family live completely rent-free. Joining me today is Pat Fitzgerald, loan officer with People's Home Equity, to tell you more. Thank you so much for being here. My is, pleasure. Did, is that really for real? I mean, is it in, it's entirely live possible. For free, rent-free. Exactly. How can a veteran? How can a veteran do this? Well, what a lot of veterans don't realize is with their VA benefits. They can also buy not only a home for themselves to live in, but they can also buy a multifamily property. And by that, do you mean a duplex or a fourplex? Yeah, duplex, okay. triplex, mm -hmm. fourplex. And uh, the way the math works is uh, particularly if the veteran buys a fourplex, mm -hmm. 
by the time we count the rents coming in, yes, that veteran could live there free. Because all the other the rents will basically cover everything that's needed, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Particularly with a fourplex, because you're going to be able to count the rents from the other three units, mm -hmm. and those rents will, in most cases, cover the house payment that the veteran has on the fourplex. So that covers the house payment. When, when you tell folks this, what is their reaction? Because not a lot of people are aware of things like this. Well, and that's a good, great question because most people just don't think about buying a multifamily, mm -hmm. but the way the VA guidelines work is the veteran can buy a multifamily property so long as he occupies, he or she occupies one of, one of the units as their primary residence. And this is, all, this is just overall, it's a win-win. This is a great investment oh, as well. absolutely. Absolutely, because in the last couple of years, real estate has gone up between 4 and 6% a year. So this is definitely the time to get on board. There's not going to be any, uh, any more close-in real estate that's going to be built because most of San Antonio is built within the loop. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, buying a multifamily property is a, is a can't-lose uh, situation. Where can folks go? If they want to know more information on this, where can well, they go? They can just give me a call. All right. And that is your cell phone that we're about to give out, right? That's so when exactly they call right. that number, that is directly to your They're going to get me, absolutely. <laughs> and I answer that phone seven days a week. And you, of course, have your slogan. I do. And that is, it doesn't cost a penny to talk. So call me right now and I'll answer you all your questions. And you have a message, of course, for our military. Yeah, I just want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you for serving our country. It means the world to me. All right, Pat Fitzgerald with People's Home Equity. You want to give him a call at this number, 215-4400. That's 215-4400 for more information on Texas Vet and VA home loans. That is Pat's cell phone. He will pick it up. And remember, it doesn't cost a penny to talk, so go ahead and give him a call. You can also visit texas-vet-loans.com. That's right. All right, earlier we asked you, in honor of Martin Luther King Day, what is your favorite inspirational quote? Edward, oh, Eddie, <laughs> says good, <laughs> better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. <laughs> From like Tim that. Duncan. <laughs> got, got a little rhyme to it as well. Janie says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yes, yes. indeed, the golden rule. Thank you. And Kokolika says, be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. I like that one. These are great. Jim says, there is never a wrong time to do mm -hmm. the right thing. Very good. All right. From KKCK, no one stands as tall as he who stoops to help a child. Oh, I love that one. Sid says, when a job is once begun, do not leave until it's done. Be it great or be it small, do it well or not at all. I like that, Sid. I like all the rhyming. Oh, oh, who could this be? Julie Myers. <laughs> Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are all fantastic. Oh, one more. Crystal says, you only live once, so, or for so live fully, but you only live once, so be careful, too. <laughs> Yeah. And our quote here on the show is... No, as our group quote? Yeah. Yes. Best show we've done all day. <laughs> together. Together, yes, all of us. Get in here, Rossi. It's a together thing. Come on, Rossi. Rossi. <laughs> Rossi. <laughs> yes, hey. Coming up tomorrow, we have uh, Fideo C. It's all, it's all this group effort here. Ooh, look at that, yes. yes. Ooh, that looks really good. Did Hot you make, did you make that, tomorrow. Rossi? No, I did not. You did not? Okay. Okay. <laughs>